Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowering, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about causes of candida, and yeast infections is part of this as well. So what is candida? Well, candida is something that is in our gut, and yes, we do have normal amounts of candida, but what's interesting to note is that our gut has 100 trillion bugs or more. So all of those organisms are living in this space of our body, and there's 10,000 different species of different bugs and of course there's good ones and not so good bugs and we actually have 10 times more bugs than we do human cells in our body so that just goes to show you the importance of having that right and that proper balance of that gut ecology and this is why I often talk about that healthy microbiome now candida is a yeast but unfortunately it can turn into a more invasive hyphal form and when we talk about candida infections and candida diasis and yeast infections, often it has converted itself into this more hyphal form and it can actually create something called a biofilm around itself to protect itself. So this is why we want to definitely be aggressive, but in a natural way of course, because that's what I'm all about when we are dealing with candida infections. Now another thing to note is that candida can itself give off over 70 different toxins. One of those toxins is acetate aldehyde. Another one is gliotoxin and acetaldehyde is also found in perfumes and this can be one of the symptoms of having a candida issue is that you have a sensitivity to the smells of perfumes around you. The gliotoxin can also damage our liver cells. So this is important as well to address our liver health whenever we're dealing with candida issues. So what are the causes of candida? Well, first on the list is sugar. So the more you overdo it with ingesting sugary products and you know, whether that's the sweets or maybe it's hidden sugar in foods, you have to be really careful because that sugar will feed that candida. The candida grows and replicates and multiplies the more that it is getting fed with that sugar and that's why often you crave those sugary foods and it's not so much your brain that's craving it, sometimes it is of course if it's a sugar addiction, but often times it's because that candida is making you want more and more and more to actually feed it so that it can survive and replicate. Another cause would be the use of antibiotics. So conventional antibiotics unfortunately they wipe out our good flora but also the bad bacteria too and that's why they're used to often kill off those bad bacteria that your body may be fighting. But unfortunately, this can set you up for candida infections because all of your good flora or your probiotics are lost when you take a conventional antibiotic. Another common cause of candida is hormones. So whether that's the birth control pill or menopausal drugs that are taken to balance the hormones, this can also offset your body and cause more of a candida problem, especially the estrogens. As well as stress, we know that stress is never our best friend when we talk about health, but stress can be a huge causative factor for candida and a suppressed immunity so that your body can't fight it off. As well as heavy metal toxins, so things like mercury, Mercury fillings in the mouth can also cause candida issues and pollution which contains those heavy metals. So things like mercury, aluminum and other toxic pollutants that are heavy metal based in our environment, even in our makeup products, can be another cause for candida. Hand sanitizer is another potential cause of candida and that's again when we think about our healthy microbiomes, those hand sanitizers are wiping away our good flora and can set us up for having a candida infection and as well as mold. So mold in our environment, in that damp, musty, moldy environment, you can't always see mold, so you don't always know that it's there, but it's something that definitely needs to be investigated if you have chronic candida or yeast infection issues, because it could be one of those contributing factors to that candida. So I hope that you learned something new from this video. Please give me a big thumbs up. Be sure to share this video as well. And if you have more comments or questions about candida, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. If you're new here, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that you always get my newest and latest uploads. Make sure that you're clicking that bell and putting all, so clicking all notifications so you get my newest uploads every single day. So remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for joining me today.